I can be your Lindsay Lohan. I can be Madonna. Babe, we're on two different pedestals. I'm Beyonce, you're Michelle. You think you don't want Beyonce? Girl, when you go there, you're gonna get jumped. I'm like, by who? All this stuff is fake. Everything's an illusion. Like, oh my gosh, Matrix. We're in the Matrix. Send me a signal, because I know that you want me. Get up, get in the mirror, and shake that ass. Period. Y'all, yeah, like you, cause child, my postmates is here. But anyway, so today I am, today, I don't know. I'm pretty much, it's, oh my gosh, how could I forget? It's a get ready me for another date with myself. A little self love date. I mean, you can never go wrong with loving yourself. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, why'd I drop that? Anyway, we're gonna chit chat, kiki, you know, all that good stuff. I already my eyebrows. Primer. I always forget primer. So I ran out of, what is this? This hydrating primer mist or whatever. Went to Walmart. You know, Walmart's ghetto. So Walmart didn't have the stuff that I needed. I'm like, if you hate me, just say that. If you don't want me as a customer, just say that. Anyway, so I started using this hydrating face primer. The thing about it is it's really like, it was the girls oily. I'm like, I want to be hydrated, not slipping and sliding. That's why I do my eyebrows first now. Golly, I tried to do my eyebrows after I put on primer one time with this. I said, no. You're playing with me. This is the game that I don't want to play no more. I kind of have some things that I did want to talk about, but like, I forgot them. I was going to hit y'all with a story time about how sis got, um, how sis was abandoned at a water park in Florida. Mind you, I don't live in Florida, so why was I left? You know what? That's a story for a different day, and if you want that story, thumb this video up. You know what? Like the video anyway. It supports me, supports the channel, helps get us noticed, you know, and all that good stuff. I can be your Lindsay Lohan. I can be Madonna. I've been spending so much time on TikTok that is literally ridiculous. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Anyway, so I was gonna talk about that, but then I was also gonna talk about my first white boy crush and that day is a story for another day. You know what? Why? Why it's a story for a different day is simply because I feel like some people may know who I'm talking about and I don't have time to deal with that. Or maybe they don't. I don't know. But then I also want to talk about because like I said, I've been on TikTok like a lot lately. May I say that TikTok is filled with some hateful people. I'm like, golly. It's either all positive or like like, all negative. There literally is no in between. I'm about to sneeze. Phew! My sister told me not to, cause she's taking some health class. And she told me not to plug my nose when I sneeze because you can like bust a blood vessel in your neck and die. Is my nose ring out? But yeah, she told me not to do that because it, you can blood, blood. So like, I'm not supposed to do that, but like I still catch myself doing that. Do you see like glue and stuff? It's glue. I'm being transparent and I'm telling y'all the truth. This is lace with lifting. I ain't finna come on camera with my lace lifting. Y'all ain't finna get me. Ooh. What is going on today? I'm telling you, it's the primer. My hands are slick. Anyway, so like I was saying, what was I saying? Before the whole sneeze thing happened, I was talking about TikTok. Right. People on TikTok are, are so miserable. Y'all are some miserable people. It's crazy, and I'm saying this because it's either with TikTok, it's either all positive and everyone's just supporting each other, you know, hey, bestie, or it's like really like hateful stuff. I'm like, God, y'all must be, someone's having issues at home because why, why do you feel the need? I'd be like, golly, y'all are miserable. And it's crazy because I feel like angry people love to take their stuff out on other people like babe why if you're mad why can't you be mad alone why you gotta make everybody else around you mad that doesn't make any sense those people are miserable so much unnecessary hate for what and I just feel like TikTok is built with a bunch of people who are either extremely nice and supportive and are using the app the right way or they're all on there being angry okay I'm not gonna cuss but you know what I'm saying y'all are just being miserable yeah TikTok's racist anyway and all this extra stuff but you know I'm not even gonna get into that because we all know and i know it's racist but like am i gonna stop using the app no and is that bad yes why does my eyebrow come all the way down here i also wanted to talk about how you know because i'm tick okay i don't know how i made it i'm on like the feminist side of tiktok which i mean is a lovely place to be but i it just got me to thinking that there's so many people men who just happen to be on the app and it's like not having to be on the app but happen to think if you are not skinny you are automatically fat and it's just like the whole body shaming thing i just don't understand like i don't like I, i'm gonna to say this i'm not gonna go on a whole tangent about body positivity and stuff like that because i'm gonna say it like this all bodies are good bodies so you y'all over here looking at these tiktok people and these people on instagram they're like a size three maybe you're a size 10 but like all bodies are good bodies so just because you see someone who's like a size three and you're like i'm a size 10 okay and so well, if you don't strut in that size 10 and stop playing with people show the girls out show the girls out show these skinny girls what a big girl can do and you know what if you're skinny show everybody else what's good show them who you are if you don't go out there and be like mm, mm, 
Mm. Okay, I can't strut. I'm sitting in a chair, but you see what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is, don't spend so much time comparing your body to somebody else's when all this stuff is fake. Everything's an illusion. Like, oh my gosh, Matrix. We're in the Matrix. Don't let the Matrix fool you. Wow. Conspiracy theory for another day. I feel so orange. It's giving, it's giving Trumpy. It's giving Trumpy. Ew. So we're gonna fix that. That's what I'm saying. Like there's, um, there's so many like trends and stuff on there. Like you're pretty if this, you're pretty if that. There's like one thing. It was like you're pretty if when you smile, eight teeth show. And it's like, what? Oh, if y'all hear humming, I have a fish tank. I got a whole fish tank in my room. I know, I know. She's styling her profile. I'm gonna move some stuff around. We'll talk about that later. But there was that trend. There was like another thing. Like if you do, like it, it was like this. It was like something like this. And like if your nose, oh, it was like this. And if your, and if your finger touches your nose and your lips or something like that, thing, it was stupid. They're all, it's all stupid. And the moment you start comparing yourself to somebody else, I want you to say in your head, oh, that's stupid. And I want you to get up, get in the mirror and shake that ass, period. Godly, I'm so tired of people getting down the dumps from comparing themselves to other people. I mean, yeah, I catch myself doing it from time to time, but then I have to look in the mirror and be like, you're a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, sometimes we all just need that little confidence boost. This is exactly why I'm going on a date with myself because who is finer than me? No one. In my mind, no one is finer than me. I'm a peer. I'm a peer and no one else matters. That's what I'm trying to say. It's all about self-confidence, babe. And I know it's a lot easier said than done, but I'm telling you right now, if you get up and you go shake your ass in the mirror, tell me you don't feel better. Tell me you don't feel better. Get up and do it right now. You don't feel better? You're lying. You're lying and I don't understand why. So there's that. I kind of did go on a tangent, but I didn't really go on a tangent about the whole body standards and stuff like that. One, body standards are rooted in misogyny. Who you think created these standards? Men! Are we really gonna are we really gonna sit here and let men decide about how we look? You're really gonna you're really gonna you're really gonna base how you look for a man? Ugh. I don't know about you, but I, for one, do not care about the male gaze. I mean, I do, but not enough to change myself. You know what I'm saying? Everyone wants to look cute. Everyone wants to be admired by the opposite sex or the same sex or whatever. But you know, don't, not everyone likes men. So, and because not everyone likes men, I'm gonna say this instead. I feel like we should not change our image to fit someone else's views. Now, if you wanna work out, lose weight, do it for you. Don't do it because you want this person over here to like you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all the girls, the gays, the theys, everybody, just don't just don't let someone else's view of what a body should look like what someone should i don't know smell like don't let someone else's views on how don't let someone else's view of attraction change all it is because all of this is already good you're already good babe i want you to do this do this i want you to fall along with me i want you to do this i am that bitch Anyway, did you do it? I feel like if you did it, you were on the same wavelength. I'm all over the place and I really hope everything I'm saying is making sense because I'm being serious. Well, as serious as I can be. I'm a little, I'm a little. But anyway, should we talk about that white boy crush now? Because I've been thinking about him recently and I know his Instagram was only two clicks away because I pretty much know it. I already know what it is because, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna air myself out. Or maybe I'm manifesting something. But there was this, um, this male. I know I was just talking about the male gaze, but like, come on now. I was weak and this was like two years ago. So, there's this boy. We're gonna name him McConaughey. And that's it. I'm not even gonna explain why. That's it. So, there was him. And you know, you know how it goes with the with the Caucasian male. Well, if you're Caucasian, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. There's only, there's only that stigma that, you know, no one likes black girls and yada, 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 yada. So, I didn't like like him at first, but I could have saw, you know, it's women's intuition. I knew, can y'all, okay, let me sit, can we finna get into some stuff? Do y'all ever feel, like y'all ever had the feeling that you're like, I know this person likes me. They haven't said it, but you can just tell. It was one of those, I could just tell. And people would tell me up and down, I didn't even like him, but I knew he liked me because why, why, why uh, uh, cause if you, I know I'm not, I'm not crazy. I gotta evaluate, I'm not crazy. That's what my therapist, anyway, look, I'm not crazy. I know, I know you want me, I know you want me. So here's the thing. I have this really weird thing where I don't like people until they like me. You know what I'm saying? So like every person I've ever had a crush on, except for maybe like one or two exceptions, have always liked me first and then I like them back. And when I like them back, they like someone else. And then I'm just stuck here with all these emotions and I'm like, Anyway, so he had a girlfriend, but like, like I said, that does not matter because you can have a girlfriend and still want me. Anyway, so people would always be like, you know, he doesn't like black girls. Da, 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 da. And I used to be like, I didn't even say I wanted him. So what, what are we doing here? But then 
But then, I really lost my train of thought. Child. Oh, yeah. So anyway, uh, they said up and down he didn't like black girls. I knew. Here's the thing. And I don't want to be rude. But, you know, just because he doesn't like y'all doesn't mean he didn't like me. Babe, we're on two different pedestals. I'm Beyonce, you're Michelle. You think he don't want Beyonce? You're lying to yourself. So, like, these other black girls be like, you know he doesn't like black girls. I'm like, babe, he doesn't like you. I'm not, I'm not crazy. He wanted me. You know how I knew he wanted me? If we are playing Kahoot in class... And you be like, this, oh my gosh, he made his Kahoot name, his Instagram name, right? And then he literally said, like when we were all typing in our names like that, it was popping up on the board. And he was like, what did he say? It was something along the lines of, that's my Instagram name. And he looked at me. I'm like, I don't care. And there was one time that he was trying to fight me over my Instagram name. Now, the thing about situations, this like two years ago. So like, I am I was very, pr my my Instagram was my baby. Now, everyone, everyone named mama needs to go look at my Instagram because it's literally the best thing out here. But I was a little secret about that because I was a little, uh, 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 I was a little, uh, uh, e back then. But like right now, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever people be like, what do you look like? I'm like, go look at my Instagram. But anyway, go look at my Instagram. That's like, I'm plugging myself. That was a selfless plug. Go look at it. But anyway, when I told that story just to say this, I know that if I ever wanted to see his, if I ever wanted to find his Instagram or his Snapchat, I already know what it is, babe. I'm waiting on you to find me. Cause I don't chase, I attract. Law of manifestation. There's that. I know, I know. Oh my God. And I got swooped up so fast. So I knew he wanted me. Like, okay, it'd be little stuff. And I know, I know what you're thinking. I am you're delusional. I'm not delusional. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Because if you want to play fussy up under the table and all this extra, and you steady tuck. Uh, uh, and I was ugly back then, so it's kind of like, sometimes I be thinking to myself, I be like, wow. I really envy the people that used to, the human beings that used to like me back when I looked like throw up. Because until, up until like quarantine, I looked like trash. Quarantine happened, you're looking at the byproduct of that. So I just, I just like, wow. I really pity y'all. And there's this other boy, right? And we went to middle school together. And, and he's very attractive now. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm like, okay. So I you to calm down. I'm like, okay. So I follow people from middle school and high school, whatever. So there's this other, there's this girl or whatever that I follow from middle school. And like, we've been friends for like a really long time. And I saw him, come, it was her birthday and she turned 18. And up under it, I saw him comment on her picture. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I know I was just talking about the whole feminist movement. I was a little jealous. I was like, I was like, why don't you comment on under my stuff? But then again, it's not my birthday, but like still you couldn't like, ugh. But anyway, I saw that and I was like, I was like, I wonder if he still follows me. And I was gonna look, and I was gonna go into my follower thing. You know, kind of Instagram, you can like look up and search and see if people follow you. I was gonna do that, but I was like, I don't want to seem like a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, I won't look it up. But in my mind, I was like, I really want to look it up. So I don't know if I manifested it. I don't know if I manifested it. Like a few days later, he followed my spam page. And I'm like, you know what? Selfish plug on the spam page as well. Go follow my spam page. But I was like, okay. So then I went, wait. Yeah, then I found out he had followed my spam page. And I was like, he want me he want me so anyway i'm posting all the cute stuff on the spam page i'm like because uh, i don't know if you follow me on my instagram or not but i know you follow my spam page so here's the thing i don't know if you look at it and scroll past it because you don't want to like it or something like that babe look i'm a humble girl i'm a humble girl. like a picture come on now send me a signal because i know that you want me ah. Cause, okay, because what if you had a girlfriend, you wouldn't follow my, you wouldn't follow me. Because you have a girlfriend, that's respect. I mean, that's what people say. I don't really think there's a problem with dudes following me. That's a different story for a different day. But I know you wouldn't follow me if you had a girlfriend. So you clearly don't have one. And you see me like your picture. You see me like your picture. So you see me like your picture. You know, you know, if you know I want you, why are you playing with me? Golly. You see me. You see me want you. Why are we doing this? Oh. I'm not gonna cry, but I know the camera did not shut off and I was talking to myself for a hot minute. I sang a song and everything, y'all missed it. I'm so sorry. Right now we're contouring my nose, yay. Every time I contour my nose, my mom says I look like Michael Jackson. Now, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult, but I like to go with the positive and say it's a compliment. So, I mean, Michael Jackson wasn't an unattractive man all the time. Wasn't always powder donut Michael. He was, at one point, he was nice chocolate Michael, so. Okay, so for y'all who do not know, I have anxiety. I made a whole little short video about it or whatever. If you haven't seen it, here's the um, thumbnail for it, but it'll be like in the cards or something. But yeah, I made like a whole video about me having anxiety or whatever. And because I have not been in a school setting in a year, I have to go to school again because we already talked about me having to go for my ACTs. But I went for that and everything was fine. But whenever I have that, I have to go back to school for something. I don't know why I get like this. I get extremely anxious. And then in the back of my head, I'm like, when I go there, everyone hates me. I don't know why I think that. Whenever 
because when I heard that I had to go back to take my state assessments or whatever, I have to go back to school in person. The first thing I thought about was I don't want to go because I feel like everyone hates me. And I'm like, and then, you know, like whenever I say it out loud, it's like, it's kind of stupid because I don't really have issues with anyone because I mind my business. I don't do nothing to nobody. So it's like, how can you really not like someone that doesn't, I don't really do anything. But it's like in my head, it's like, I can't shake the idea that if I go, something bad is going to happen. It's, it's, I'm just like, oh, God, we really, really, Anya, we're really doing this? I'm telling you all this because the way I've been like combat, not combating, but the way I've been like coping with my anxiety or whatever is I started meditating every day. And may I say that it really, really helped. I mean, it doesn't like completely eliminate the anxiety, but like it really, really, really helped. And it's like, I know that when I go to take my test, everything's going to be fine. Everybody's going to be messing with me. I, I'm telling you, I know everything's going to be all good and gravy, but like there's like this one, it's just like that small voice in the back of my head that's like, girl, when you go there, you're going to get jumped. And I'm like, by who? You know, I'm a y'all know i don't fight y'all know i'm not a fighter so i'm like oh my god so like and the voice in my head is saying you're gonna get beat up i'm like but then it's like then it's like the voice of reading is like on it who's gonna jump you jesus and like no you have issues with no one i don't know if that makes sense or not but like i'm just saying that sometimes when i think about having to go back to school and stuff like that it just gives me anxiety i really think it's because i haven't been to school in so long so i just get a little when i think about it but I know everything's gonna be fine. And even if I don't know for sure, I'm gonna keep saying it as an affirmation to make myself feel better. So does it really matter? Y'all, if y'all have like round faces like me, go ahead and start doing this with this powder. I have sideburns. So like it's kind of easy for me to map out where to do it at. But this girl is making my face look slim Jim. Oh, y'all probably are wondering like why I was, why I like, what did I do? What did I do? I didn't post for like two weeks. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. I'm gonna be like 100% honest because oh well. I had truancy. And that's because, you know, if you don't go to classes if you have if you miss like a certain amount of days or whatever you get truancy and that could lead to you know your parents having to go to court and all this action i was like oh god i don't have to deal with this so then after i found out that and then on top of that my principal wanted to be petty and send a screenshot of my grace to my mom and it turns out sister failing like four classes so then on top of so i'm missing all these all these classes because sis be sleep so i've been missing all these classes on top of that i'm feeling for class and then it's like golly so then i took the break and also you should be stressing me out child the stress from this it was also my grades also the truancy i was like golly so i'm like okay so we have to make some decisions and i made a decision to to get my grades and stuff together to get my attendance together and then i'll come back to entertaining y'all and look who's back so i actually fixed all my grades so now i'm looking at a straight i have like all b's or something i have like all b's like two c's right now so grades looking good the attendance i've been in all my classes every day for like the last two weeks so that's been really good too so, you know i'm just i'm just on an up and up slope also i started exercising and eating better because i since i know i was talking about body positivity and stuff like that earlier but i kind of want to lose weight not a lot because you know sis sis's figure is nice and right but like i do i just i don't know i have like this goal in mind of like where i want to be and it's like i just feel like now is the time to try to like push towards that you know what i'm saying just trying to get into that so so you know there's that but um eating healthy is hard because this little in my heart i'm a little i'm a little chubby six-year-old who really likes um chips and queso i don't know what i don't know what else you want me to say I can be your Lindsay Lohan. I can be Madonna. So there's that. I downloaded this app or whatever because I learned about this thing called a calorie deficit. And I was like, okay. So it's like, it's not okay. Because I tried keto before like two years ago. But I don't really like doing that because so keto gives me like an unhealthy relationship with food. If that makes any sense. So I'm like, okay, so I don't want to do that. But then I'm also like, so how do I do this in a way that I can still lose weight? And I don't have to do something as extreme as keto. You know what I'm saying? So then I had started looking stuff up and I found this thing called a calorie deficit, right? And I was like, okay, interesting. Actually, I saw it on TikTok. And you know, you can't always trust stuff on TikTok. So yeah, just Google it. I looked it up. Then I watched a couple of videos on it. And it's basically where you stay within a certain, you stay under a certain like calorie limit or something like that. So let's say your limit is like 2,000 calories, right? As long as you eat under 2,000 calories a day, your body will naturally burn off those 2,000 calories. So then you'll lose weight naturally. And you have to be in a calorie deficit period that we can lose weight. It's just the way that you do that is different. So like keto, you're basically putting yourself in a calorie deficit anyway. So basically with a calorie deficit, you have to burn more calories than you're consuming. I'm like, okay, so technically I'm not on a diet, but I am just watching like how many calories and stuff I take in. So I've been doing it for like two weeks. Then I've also been exercising like how many times a week? Like four, like four times a week, I think. And I've been doing, what's it called? That Chloe Ting's um, two week shred. But instead of doing it every day for two weeks, I just do it three times a week every week. 
I don't do like the whole thing. So like if day one is this, I'll do day one like on Monday. Then I won't do anything Tuesday. Then I'll do day two, the two weeks shred on Tuesday and stuff like that. That way I don't like, uh, you know, kill myself. So I've been doing that or whatever. So like I've been basically just trying to get my life together. So like with the grades and stuff like that, got my grades together. I feel like I've lost weight. Now I took some progress pictures or whatever and I took some pictures today and I didn't really see any difference. But I didn't see any difference in the pictures. But like when I look at myself, I can see the difference. So I'm like, screw the pictures. I know I look good. See, it's that kind of, you know, you know what I'm saying? So as long as I know I look good, that's all that matters. So I know I'm losing weight. I know I look good. So that's all that matters, period. But yeah, I think also the thing that I said in my last video about having a parole officer, my mom said when she got the call from my principal, she was talking about that at 17, I shouldn't have a parole officer. I'm like, a parole officer? What are you talking about? That's not as extreme. But yeah, she said, I was like, um, that's not, that doesn't sound, that doesn't feel right. So, hold on, I gotta, you know, I gotta blend out the, the nose. Give me a second. I like to call the thing that I do with my nose. I like to call like the button nose technique or whatever. I feel like it's so cute. I've also been thinking so much about like my career, not career, but like the career and stuff that I want to go into. Cause you know, since the junior in high school, you know, you guys start thinking about college and stuff like that. But it's weird because I don't necessarily want to be a theater major, but I also, oh yeah. And just in case y'all don't remember, um, sis is going to win an Oscar. I'm telling you, cause I want to be an actress. I feel like, I feel like I'm really talented. Like right now, I feel like, I, I feel like if you put me in front of a camera right now, I blow you, I blow your socks off. I can do literally everything but fake cry. I just cannot get tears out of my eyes. I just don't know why. But I've been thinking a lot about that. I don't know why I be having dreams that I'm in movies and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't know if this is the universe trying to tell me something, but I'm listening. My makeup looks so good right now. It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh God, I think we're done. Doesn't my nose look cute? Yeah, so a lot has changed for you, girl. Or I'm just trying to make like better life decisions and stuff like that. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say. But what am I doing next? Blush. I just started putting blush on. I don't know why. I like it so much. Also just started contouring my nose. I like that a lot too. I might do like an updated like everyday makeup routine because I've changed it up clearly. I mean, if y'all want that comment, like the video. You know what, like the video, just to like it. Come on now, support, support me. I don't really know what this video was if I'm being completely honest. I guess I just really wanted to talk and do my makeup, which you know, mission accomplished. Oh, I just feel so, I don't know, I feel so dainty whenever I have blush on. Like, I just feel like a, I don't know. Oh, about the acting thing. When I, whenever I think about movies and stuff like that that I want to be in, I always think about, I, I really want to be in like a time piece. Like one of those things that like the 18th century, they had like those corsets and those big ball gowns, stuff like that. But then I also think about slavery and I'm like, I don't know if I would fit in that time period. But I don't know, they can make a black role, golly. Like there wasn't, were there slaves in England? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That scared me to think about. But like sometimes I just, just think I want to be in a time period so bad I want to play like I want to play like a coming of age movie in like the 80s or something I'm like oh uh, I would love that or like I want to be in like a um no she's not trying to FaceTime me I'm not answering it right now but like I want to be like in a time piece so bad and I want to play like an 80s or like in a 90s movie like you know how Stranger Things takes place in the 80s something like that not Stranger Things but something that takes place in the 80s golly what part of I'm not answering does she not understand I look so good I look so good right now lips do lips i still use contour to outline my lips because i feel like that's hot but yeah you know just you know i guess it kind of turned into like a life update kind of thing while i get ready for my self-care day taking care of yourself is literally you know because at the end of the day came into this world with you you're gonna leave in this world with you so within while you are on earth take care of yourself put yourself first people are gonna be like you're selfish or you're a narcissist or whatever but i'm telling you right now that you need to put yourself before you put anybody else because how are you going to care about somebody else before you care about yourself exactly whenever i do my makeup my nose starts running i don't know why meditate do yoga i do both yoga is awesome meditating is awesome it just gives you meditation gives you peace of mind i don't know how to explain it i do like guided i overline my lips like way too much but it is what it is i do guided affirmation meditations and may i say not only does it help my anxiety but it overall like helps me with like it's a good practice for mindfulness and stuff like that and it's just an overall good like thing to have up under your belt you know overall you know if you're going through something and i don't know what i don't know why i don't know i feel like the universe just made me say this but or my ancestors Ooh. but i feel like if you're going through something I, and you're like overthinking like how i normally be doing uh this is the message for you but also for me that you know is never 
never as bad as it seems. Sometimes, there, sometimes I saw this, you know I'd be watching Adventure Time, but I saw this, um, I saw this clip on Adventure Time and Jake was saying, um, you're filling your mind up with imaginary problems. And I was like, wow, that sounds like me. Exactly, exhibit A. So I'm, my anxiety about going back to school to take my test or whatever, I'm making up all these imaginary fears in my head that aren't real. They feel so real in the moment because you know, it's your mind, your mind can really like trick you and stuff like that and can really get into you. So what I'm trying to say is, although it feels, Although like it seems so realistic, it seems so bad, it's really not and you're just overthinking. You're making up all these issues in your head to scare yourself. But if you really look at the root of the situation, what are you really scared of? What, is, what are you really worrying about? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. You're worrying about nothing. You're worrying about literally nothing. This is for you too, Anya. What are you worried about? We're going in there to take tests. You take a test, you get out, you leave. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. That was for me. I was talking to me, but I was also talking to you. You know, if it applies, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if it applies, grab onto that sh I need to stop cussing. Grab onto that and hold it tight and hug it and go to sleep with it. But yeah, I'm just saying, I look so good. But, um, you know, something gotta hype yourself up. Don't let your anxiety, don't let your brain trick you into thinking that something is way worse than it actually is. You know what I'm saying? If you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. If you want to DM me, girl, DMs be open. DM me, let's talk about it. But, yeah. So, I'm not putting on lashes. I just thought about it. I look way better without lashes, so. And you know, I also saw this thing on TikTok and it was like, or was it, was it on TikTok or Instagram? I saw this thing and it was like, you should you should um, get dressed up for no reason just to make yourself feel, just to give yourself more confidence or it's shown to give yourself more confidence, something like that. So what, I'm t what I took from that was go and get dressed up, get all dueled up for no reason. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going on a date, but I'm not going on a date. I'm going on a date to Postmates downstairs. But um, yeah, just get dressed, sing, dance a little bit. I do that all the time. I have little uh, concerts in my room, but yeah, I don't. I hope all that made sense because I feel like I've been yammering for a really long time. But anyway, um, don't forget to create your own happiness, your own happiness. And I say that all the time because I really genuinely mean it. No one can bring you happiness like yourself. No one can bring you happiness but yourself. Happiness is a choice. You have to choose to be happy. You have to choose to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if no one told you today I love you and it's gonna be all right, you know, we all go through stuff. Think about it. And like. In like two, mm, let's just say two months from now. I mean, well, I don't know. The way I be thinking, it might affect me two months from now. Think about it, like a year from now, are you really gonna be thinking about it? Right. So don't let it press you, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's one of these affirmations I be saying like when I meditate and it is, this situation too shall, wait, this situation too shall pass, so I choose to deal with it calmly. Go into every situation, difficult or not, calm. Cause they say that you can't choose what happens to you in life, but you can choose how you react. So just be calm. Calm down, breathe. I'm gonna link some of the um, the meditation things that I use in the description box. But yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, but don't forget to create your own happiness and I'll see you the next time I decide to go on a date with myself. I'm, I like doing that. I like going on dates with myself. I like me. What did Tyler Creator say? I like myself, I would, and I do everything I do to please myself. Yeah, I'm gonna leave, bye. Mwah. <laughs>